This is Victor Campos, and we're continuing with our WordPress e-commerce installation. If you followed our last video, you would see that we installed WAMP on our computer. We've got the little green icon there. You might have selected to install it on uh, your quick icon on your desktop as well. And then if you visit your web browser to this address, localhost, you should see WAMP server is, is running. So what we need to do now is download the WordPress installation files. So I'm going to go back to my web browser and we'll go to wordpress.org. You want to go to wordpress.org, not wordpress.com. That's something else. At .org is where you download the installation files to use them as you wish. So go to the address and at the top right we have download WordPress. Click it. Install the latest version which at this recording time is 3.8.1. Go ahead and let it download. It's about a six megabyte file. Once it downloads, go to the location where you download, where your downloads end up. Mine go to the downloads folder of my computer. Yours may go elsewhere. And you should see WordPress zip file. Inside of the zip file, double click, we have the actual WordPress core files. So I'm going to extract them just onto my desktop. I need them somewhere uncompressed so that then I could install that to my actual WAMP server. So however you want to do it you need to extract and you saw that I simply dragged from the archive onto my desktop. Uh, once that finishes up we then need to move that uh, uncompressed folder into the WAMP folder. So while that finishes up I'm going to go back to this PC, my computer, go to the C drive, and you should see a new folder called WAMP. That's what was installed in step one. Double click that, and then I've got a www folder. That's everything that's visible in the web browser. If I go back to my web browser, everything that I'm seeing here comes from that www folder. So what I need to do is get this WordPress installation into the WW folder. So just open that, drag and drop, and I've put WordPress into my WAMP server. If I go back to the web browser, now I can go localhost slash WordPress, and I'm about to install WordPress. That requires a database, however. But if you get up to this point, you're well on your way because on our next video we'll install a database so that WordPress can run.